What is up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to discuss a few things. One, I want to talk about Ethereum and Dogecoin. I also want to discuss Memeland and a few really cool updates that they have going on in their ecosystem. I also want to briefly touch on updates around my portfolio, and I also want to talk briefly about ChatGPT4 and the dangers around NFTs and projects in regards to AI. I am doing a limited time discount for my private Discord. If you're interested, the first 10 people to join who use the code VINLAND10 will get 15% off their first month. So if you're looking for a great group of people for alpha, live calls, whitelists, etc., you can check out the link in the description below, use the code, and get a decent chunk of money off for your very first month to try us out. All right, guys, so the first piece of news I have for you today is Memeland is going to be setting up 69 validators for the Ethereum blockchain. And this is super cool because A, they're obviously placing a bet on Ethereum and the Web3 ecosystem in general. B, it's going to create a great opportunity for mainland to make passive yield and passive income for every validator you set up you'll make four to five percent off of that 32 ethereum so it's 69 validators 32 eth each which comes out to about 2100 ethereum at the time of the recording of this video that's about four million dollars and so that is going to create a great opportunity because every validator you have you'll be able to earn eth rewards and so meme land is going to generate lots of money on a monthly and a yearly basis just for having the these validators up and running so not only are they betting on the web3 ecosystem they're also going to be making a bunch of money and also helping secure the ethereum network so i absolutely love this for meme led it is an obvious bet on their ecosystem and the chain that they're building on it's going to provide money for the team it's going to provide more exposure it's also great advertising and marketing overall i think it's a great move it's a genius move and i'm looking forward to getting those validators up and running and watching how that all develops for meme land in the future meme land also posts a picture just saying the captains in the font that is essentially like the Mandalorian slash Star Wars and so there might be some sort of collab here some sort of something but the tweet reads affiliated with meme land not affiliated with Disney so it could absolutely be nothing but it's interesting to see and I'm curious to see how this develops by the time this video goes live we might have the answer but if there wasn't something there I'm not sure they would have posted anything at all so I'm curious to see what happens all right quick update around interest rates in the United States the market is now predicting a 0.25 interest rate hike starting next month on 5.3. So now there is a 71 or about a 72% chance of another interest rate hike that the market is now pricing in. Then the following month, it looks like the market is now predicting at a 70% probability that there's going to be a pause. And then the following months, they will start to cut interest rates. So whether next month is the last hike, or there's going to be one more and then a pause and then a cut, continuing to stay up to date with this graph in front of me right here is going going to be super interesting and I think also super helpful for us to navigate this entire space. And so I think my speculation and my prediction is changing slightly, but also staying fairly similar. I kept saying that if we pause this month, we might continue to go sideways or even trend higher. And then as we start to cut rates, we'll start to see risk assets depreciate in price. But now we're going to see potentially another 0.25 interest rate hike. And that's not too much, but that could just be just enough for the market to not like it too much. And so it'll be a very interesting month month and also a very volatile month because every time j Powell gets on stage and speaks and they lock in the interest rates and they show cpi data and jobs data and everything else the market goes crazy people longing and shorting and getting liquidated etc so be very careful if you're going to place any longs or shorts be very careful with where you're putting your money in if there's any sort of leverage there be very very careful all right guys we are now looking at the one hour price chart for ethereum and at least at the recording of this video we have seen quite a bit of a pump up to about 1900 and now we're currently falling off to around 1880. So this chart in particular might not be super relevant by the time this video goes live, but I think more of the same, right? We've been around $1,800 for a while. We've been close to $1,900 for a while. We now have a 0.25 interest rate hike coming up soon. And so I suspect that we're going to continue to go sideways and potentially start to slowly bleed off into the lower 1800s, potentially even higher 1700s. So I'm not necessarily doing any longs or shorts here. For me specifically, I am just going to be dollar cost averaging 
anywhere in this below $2,000 level. I think it's a pretty sure bet eventually for my own personal conviction and my own personal risk management that in 2024 or 2025, Ethereum will be higher than $2,000 eventually. Therefore, I think dollar cost averaging at these levels is totally acceptable for me and my own personal financial situation. I also briefly want to discuss Dogecoin because as you can see here, this crazy candle on the one hour chart was essentially when Elon Musk changed the Twitter Twitter logo to the doge and also when you refreshed that like twitter loading screen was also the doge he also was like tweeting memes about it and stuff that just caused an insane price spike here and also caused a lot of volume and so for me personally i would say i'm gonna look to get a little bit of exposure to dogecoin around like the six cent mark maybe like the under seven higher six cent mark which seems to be some sort of floor for at least the dogecoin price for now in this bear market it's not gonna be a lot it's gonna be a very small position but we We've seen time and time again that Elon Musk just can't seem to get Dogecoin out of his head. It's living rent free in his head. And so every now and again, he does something that makes the price go wild. And this happened, this chart happened over the course of like 24 hours or or honestly almost 48 hours and so even if you know you had been dollar cost averaging a little bit of doge here in six seven cents you would have had plenty of time to take profits here it wasn't like this was like a flash pump and a flash crash you had multiple days to potentially take profits here and so it's almost like dogecoin is like one of those things where it's just like a ticking time bond like i don't like the coin i'm not necessarily bullish on the coin but i'm bullish on the idea that elon musk is going to pump it randomly throughout the year and i'll just be able to since i'm very up to date on twitter and discords and stuff and people are going to be talking about it in my spheres i'll just have the opportunity to take that profits and take that sell and use those funds elsewhere so to summarize i think dogecoin is just an interesting play even though i don't particularly believe in the coin or like the coin that much that eventually elon musk is going to do something that does something crazy for the price or it's just going to be a coin and a meme coin that people speculate on during the next bull run to where i'd like to have a little little bit of exposure so i can just take advantage of those random pumps all right guys so really quick we're looking at chat gpt4 and i haven't talked about ai stuff too much on this channel because i think i understand understand what my core audience likes and I am also more passionate just about cryptocurrency and NFTs and stuff like that regardless but anyways I just wanted to briefly discuss some dangers hidden in the NFT markets regarding these super powerful AI tools so I just briefly wanted to discuss the idea around how easy it is to potentially pump out marketing materials using chat GPT-4 and also mid-journey and so I just want people to be aware that it really as it really can be as simple as someone typing into chat GPT-4 write me a white white paper around a mobile game mobile game that uses blockchain technology and it will write you a white paper and people will send these white papers to people in discord with phishing links or use these white papers to potentially try to fish people into clicking links or sending eth or garnering a team and scamming that team or selling an nft that's going to zero etc and so if you combine this super powerful ai tool assistant whatever you want to call it and you couple that with mid journey and it's amazing detail to creating images and marketing materials and and ui and ux and color schemes and everything else you really need to have a very sharp eye and be very skeptical around everything you see on Twitter and Discord. We are slowly entering an age where AI voices, AI deep faking, AI, you know, writing and assistant tools, AI art is all becoming more and more mainstream and more and more people are using them and all of that tech is getting better and better. So I do think it's an interesting angle and a potentially interesting use case for NFTs to say, okay, this image is real because it's backed by a token on the blockchain and I can prove that this is verifiably owned by X owner. And so in a world of internet, full of fakes and deep fakes and AI and all this craziness, NFTs and non-fungible tokens outside of just the PFP realm, the technology that backs the blockchain verifiable ownership assets of an NFT of that entire thing that we've been discussing on this channel for so many years could be a great use case to combat this crazy amount of scams and faking and everything else that's going on in the current age of the internet where AI is becoming the hottest topic ever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The only other thing I wanted to discuss just really quickly is for for full transparency, I doubled down on my meme land investment. I bought a couple more captains and I'm basically happy with where I am currently. Big fan of the ecosystem. I think everybody knows that at this point, but regardless, I'm going to continue to talk about meme land and steady stack and Yuga and mutants and ApeCoin and everything else that I am passionate about and I am investing in myself personally, not to pump my bags, but because I'm putting my money where my mouth is and I'm discussing updates and news and sharing awesome things around
background stuff that I truly believe in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the very next one. Remember to check out the link in the description below. Use the discount code. The first 10 people to sign up will get 15% off for the very first month in my private discord where you can learn to do a bunch of really cool stuff. I'll see you guys in the very next video. Peace.